Hello and welcome to Transports Fever Series 3 or Season 3 The Great Western Railway. In this video, this preview video, I'm going to be taking you across the map, talking about what I intend to do, showing you what towns are on board, how I'm going to be doing things, maybe talk a bit about the schedule, uh, and just take just take a look at the map because this map has taken me a very long time to create it's not quite perfect it's not quite done yet uh, and I'll explain what still needs to change over the next oh, I don't know um, probably week before the series starts or something like that but as you can see right now anybody who knows London or anybody who knows the United Kingdom should be able to recognize this as the River Thames in front of us going out from London over towards Reading so make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this video to get a preview of this map that I've built and find out my intentions for the rest of this series let's get on with it Okay, so here we go. Um, we'll start down here. So this is the this is one side of the map. In fact, as you can see, this is the size of the map uh, in itself. So you can see it goes down there. There's the River Thames, all the way down, and then there is a substantial amount of water, which you guys might think is a bit useless, but I'll explain why the water's there in a moment. So let's have a look. Also, slightly blocked nodes, just slightly, but it should be okay. Uh, I should be able to get through that. Might sound slightly, maybe, I don't know, deeper voice, something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is. Anyway, moving on from this. We are not going to be having this growing naturally. As you can see, I've only got these natural growth ones for now. Just for the sake of it looking like, instead of just two streets everywhere, you get to get an idea of what is, uh, what's around. But I'm going to be manually building the roads, manually placing the buildings. And they're not going to be looking like buildings that are just sh sort of shoved everywhere. For those of you who saw my, the, towards the end of my last series, so the Great, uh, the Great Lakes, you saw how around Chicago and uh, Naperville and towards Madison and stuff like that. I was getting these buildings in into little districts, into little suburbs, um, neighborhoods, things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm going to be trying to make them as realistic to what we have in the UK. Of course, we are going to base this back in the past. So things are going to look a little bit different. I might get some of the roads wrong. And as we progress into the future, or not the future but further along in this series then we'll be looking at upgrading some of the buildings upgrading some of the things that we have around and uh, seeing what we get so let's have a look up in the top corner as you can see nothing's around one of the things that I haven't done yet is sort out the industries uh, we are going to be having some industries in places or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe it clean of all industries uh, full stop and then put the industries in as and when I think they need to be there so for example if I've got a racetrack like this one that's just come up I'll put Brands Hatch down uh, where does Brands Hatch go Ooh, somewhere here no it's not it's somewhere I think Brands Hatch is about here or is that Goodwood? No, that's Goodwood. Goodwood's about there. Brands Hatch is somewhere further up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm going to have to figure that one out. But as you can see, towns we've got. So we've got Luton, St Albans, Watsford, Edgware, Wembley, Ealing, uh, along that sort of line there north of the Thames. Obviously, all of this is to become part of London. So all of this will eventually end up built up. Uh, all the way down here, Bromley, Croydon, Epsom, all going to be built up. Um, for those people who know now, the M25 sort of goes here. It's where the M25 sort of cuts across. Uh, so that is the edge of Greater London right there. So all this is going to end up built up. Going to have an airport here. Heathrow Airport, I think, sticks. Uh, where does Heathrow Airport stick itself in? I think it sticks itself in right here. Yeah, either here or here. Is where Heathrow Airport sticks itself in. This here is Richmond Park. 
So you can see that. Ooh. Those rocks don't look great. Might have to... Can I demolish those rocks? Oh, I can. Lovely. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm demolishing those rocks right now. Don't need to do that just yet. Uh, as you can see, there are some of these extra ones that I'm going to get rid of. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, does that actually... Oh, that actually connects. I didn't even know that. But anyway, so we've got the River Thames. Over here, we've got the Docklands. So this is going to obviously build up at some point. Uh, main part of London here, so Westminster, Vauxhall, all that kind of stuff. We've got the art galleries and stuff down here. The museums up here. Uh, we probably won't be using all the stations, so I probably intend to put King's Cross in. Um, King's Cross is supposed to go underground. I'm just not sure how that's going to pan out. Is that a King's Cross? It does go underground for a significant amount of time. But we'll put King's Cross in. We'll probably put Paddington in. And we'll put either Waterloo or Victoria. Maybe both, if we can fit it in. Uh, I do have some mods for, like, underground stations and stuff, so maybe I can get Victoria in at some point, and then we will work from that. Uh, we've got Ilford over here. Again, these towns are just in, so I, I've got an idea of where things need to go, so these are more landmarks for me. All of this will end up demolished and then rebuilt with correct road structures. Uh, the M25 itself sort of swings around here, and I think... I think this is the um, crossing here, the Dartford crossing. Just there, but I'm not entirely sure. It might be just slightly further up. Um, in fact, I think it is just not, I think it's just about here. But in order to get the rest of the map in, this is what I've had to do. So, as I said, we've got Bromley down there. We've got Croydon over there. Uh, again, this area, these areas will probably be demolished in their entirety and just rebuilt and there'll just be a list of a few labels here and there. So that's all going to be sorted out. From there, we go down and we have the town of Crawley, which means that we should be able to put Gatwick Airport in. So we're looking at Gatwick Airport going in just there. Um, I think if we look at Crawley and where it is, if I remember correctly, uh, the M25 is sort of going to be here. Yeah, I think the M25 is going to be here when, when the M25 comes in. And I'm fairly sure that the M25 does... Ooh. Let me think. This part, that part. Yeah, I think the M25 does cross... Dartford is about here. Uh, I think the river's supposed to go down a bit and then down here. So that is the M25 crossing. But that doesn't really matter. We can, we can always uh, sort something out with the other roads. So anyway, that's part of the plan. This I'm just showing you what... I intend to do so Gatwick Airport is going to be going in there if we go further down you can see we've got Brighton so we're going to have a railway station in Brighton now the railway station Brighton is going to be an odd one because of the hills and so that might make it a little bit difficult uh, with the railway station sort of I think it's supposed to be just there might make it a little bit difficult if I can get the piers and everything in I am going to try and then I do think it goes through a bunch of tunnels so the tunneling should be I mean, just as an example, if I take that and go like that. Yeah, as you can see, the tunneling really shouldn't be a problem. It'll, it'll come in and out of a tunnel very, very nicely, just as I believe it does in real life. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem on that side. We've got the town of Worthing. Uh, again, that's going to be connected with a, a railway station. Again, roads will probably be connecting all of this. I think the A27 goes along here. Uh, we'll also have Chichester and Bognor Regis. So there's Bognor Regis right there. And there's Chichester. So, And we've got uh, a Little River. Uh, a Little River for Little Hampton. I think it's, I think it's Little Hampton. I, there'll be a little town there for Little Hampton. And I think this is the River Arran? Arran? Oran, maybe. Something like that. So we're going to include that, and then of course the railway is going to go straight into Chichester. And then we've got Bognor Regis here, where the railway is also going to be going. Uh, and then from Chichester, we've got Portsmouth down here. So you can see here that we we do have, or well, I have tried to make things like uh, Hailing Island, which is that one there. Uh, Thorny Island, which is that one there. And then uh, Portsy Island isn't really an island. I couldn't get that narrow bit in, and I'm just not sure... Uh, what it looks like 
So there is that, and then Portsmouth itself, which might need to move because I think Portsmouth is on this island, not here. So I think this is supposed to be Portsmouth. Uh, I'm going to have to double check that though. If we go here, we've got the uh, Isle of Wight right here. So we've got Newport there. I've just put stick in, uh, stuck in Newport and Shanklin. Now with this, maybe just maybe I might drop the drop the size of that. But um, we are going to put in a, a bunch of roads here and see what we can find and see what we can put in. Uh, if we move back up, Southampton makes an appearance over for us, and I think Southampton's definitely in the right place. Uh, that, that This area here is all supposed to be Southampton. So that makes an appearance, which means that's going to obviously be uh, be on the cards. I have not put in uh, little towns here and there. So for example, there's a Waterlooville here. I haven't put that in, but I have got Winchester right over here. So that gives me another idea of where things are supposed to go. But with Southampton, I haven't put Eastleigh there. We've got Salisbury across, which I've tried to put in the right place. And if we go up, you can see I've got places like Basingstoke, Newbury, Reading. Reading's going to be really important on the Great Western. Slough and Windsor, of course, Woking and Guildford. So we can put McLaren there. We've got Didcot, which of course has to make an appearance. Oxford as well, we can put the university there. Bicester, Aylesbury. Aylesbury I think has a massive rail depot, that's why I've included Aylesbury. And um, again, just to, just to point out, just because the town doesn't exist uh, on the map doesn't mean that I'm not going to put something into it. Uh, at some point I'll probably put a few houses or something, stick a station in if I can and that will be that. Why are there these weird rocks all over the place? I'm going to have to disable one of the rock mods until I've started the game. Yeah, and then put it in. Okay, that's fine. Uh, coming along here, the Thames sort of just ends rather abruptly. But the reason it ends abruptly is, as you can see, it's quite deep. And if I try and continuously narrow this, it just disappears. So I've had to end uh, the Thames just for the sake of it not looking stupid. So unfortunately, that's how the Thames is going to end. Uh, still quite a long distance. If we work out the distance of the Thames here, we're looking at about 50, 30 miles, uh, 30, 40, 50 miles, 60, 70. We've probably got about 70 miles. Yeah, I think we've got about 60 to 70 miles of the Thames, so that's not bad. And we have managed to get the bits where it splits up like this, giving us this little island here. So that's included as well. Now, uh, going up this way, of course, after Oxford, we've got Bicester, and then we've got to go all the way over to the Severn Valley, so we've got Gloucester. Now, I've put Gloucester in, but I think right here we should have Cheltenham. Now, I have not put Cheltenham in because it's just right on the edge, but I probably will uh, put Cheltenham in at that point. But I'm pretty sure Gloucester goes there, and I'll put Ch Cheltenham, and then we'll work something of the Cotswold. Uh, also, you might notice that Sirencester is not here. I think Sirencester is supposed to go about there or there, something like that. I think it's sort of directly between Gloucester and Swindon, so I think there is where Sirencester is supposed to go. Probably will put little bits and, bits and bobs once again. If we look down again, we've got Chippenham. I don't know why I put Chippenham in, but I have. Then we've got Bath over there. And we have got uh, this river right here, which uh, is an annoying one. So this river's actually been rather troublesome. That's the Avon. And as you can see, when it gets to this point, it sort of just sort of tapers away. So I've had to stop it there. So unfortunately, the river cannot continue. But that's Bath there. And of course, you just saw Bristol going down here. We've got Bournemouth, so there's Southampton, we've got Bournemouth. I've tried to clear up the swamp area a little bit, or the depres depression zone. We've got Weymouth, uh, that exists, we've got a few rivers coming in. Uh, Exmouth, Exeter, the river coming into Exeter doesn't look brilliant, the XE. Is it the XE or the XE? Oh wait, that doesn't sound any different with my voice at the moment, never mind. 
Uh, and then we've got Newton Abbott. So that is where our railway is going to end. And now you probably understand why there's so much space here with the water. Because if you go on this side, water just sort of becomes rather scarce. And then it opens up and then sort of rather scarce again. Over up here, we've got Barnstable. So maybe we'll do something over here with the river. And I might need to increase the width of this stream just a tad. Minehead is something I've included, uh, Taunton, Bridgewater, Yeovil, Yeovil Town, uh, and aside from that there isn't much here, there's probably going to be a lot of mining stuff, a lot of freight in this area, but um, as you look over, you can see we're looking into Wales from here, and I have to admit, that looks pretty neat from the River Severn, or the Severn Estuary, that really does look rather nice. On this side, we have Western Supermare, Bristol, and then over to Wales. So we've got Chepstow on this side on the border. This, I believe, is the Welsh border, this river. Uh, I cannot remember the name of this river. Oh, dear. Um, hold on. River that comes off that one. Is that the, the, the Rye or the Y? The River Y? Why? I, yeah, I think so. Either that or this is the river Y. No, that's the river... Um, that's the river... Usk or Usk. That's the river Usk, that's the river Y. Yep, that's it. That's right, and that's the Avon. All coming off the River Seven. And then, so we've got Newport, we've got Cardiff, we've got Bridgend, Port Talbot, and Swansea. And that's where the Great Western's going to end there. Uh, we've got Merthyl Tidfield over here, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Abaganwi, or Abagan, Abagan, Abaganwi, Abagavni, no wait, Abagavni, maybe, Abagavni, yep, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce that, not Abagavni, or Abagavni, Abagavni, yeah, Gavni, maybe, I don't know. And then over here, we're probably going to have a bunch of mining stuff as well, so we can get some of those mines that you see uh, in Wales and some of these little sort of tracks running through the mountainside. And as you can see, it's not going to be easy. So if you look at that, you can see just how much these things like to cut. It's it's not easy to, to root in and out of Wales. Uh, the mountains themselves, I've had to keep them not incredibly high. But you can see that there is some height to the mountains. So if we look, for example, from Swansea, that is still fairly high hills. Those are definitely hills. So that is something that we're going to have to sort of take into account. Aside from that, um, I think that's everything shown. The idea is to get every major road correctly laid out, all the roads in the city correctly laid out, at least major roads, and then all the districts or the areas, the regions, the boroughs, the whatever you want to call it, neighbourhood, suburbs, all done correctly too. Uh, the River Lee, maybe I'll expand that so we can, yeah, so we can get the Lee Valley going up here. Uh, but aside from that, few problems with the map. If you look here, there's these slight lines in places. I've been trying really hard to get rid of them, but I cannot seem to get rid of them. And they're not sort of up, down, left, right. They're diagonal and whatnot. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to manage. But barring that, the map is in really good state. It's definitely in a really, really good state. And it's in such a state, in fact, that I could even create things like the M48 crossing from here. Um, what on earth was that? Draggable fence? No. Let me just try. Just out of curiosity. Going into Chepstow and around. That is pretty much the uh, M48 river crossing. Doesn't really look exactly like that, but 
Uh, it's a bit of a suspension bridge, so... Let's have a look. Ooh, we, we've got all these new types of bridges as well that I've got, so these should give us something. Nope. Nope. None of those. None of those. Give me a suspension bridge, guys. I want a suspension bridge. Why can I not get a suspension bridge when I want one? But anyway, we'll have to work on it and figure and figure it out. Where is the suspension bridge? But you can see that I'll be able to build those kind of those kind of buildings. We'll have things going in and out. It's going to be really, really awesome, I think. Um, so many mods being used. If I just stick a, just to give you an example. If I was just to stick a depot down, where? Well, let's have a look. Uh, Axon, here we go. Let's get a depot down in Axon. Roughly. Uh, ooh. Okay, there's one top bridge. Uh, combined signs, no. Just give me a, there we go, simple, simple depot. If you have a look at this, there's our trains that we have. So we've got Toby, Toby the tank engine. Yes, Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, Stevenson's Rocket, the Planet, Burry 220, Burry 040, the Patentee 222060, the Derwent 060, the Long Boiler 222, 222 Jenny Lind, LNWR Crew Type, that's London North Western Railway, the Well Tank, just a whole bunch of these. Right, and then we've got a bunch of cameras. Now, this is just in 1850. That is just 1850. From there, as we progress, we are going to have loads and loads of different types of rolling stock, different types of locomotives, different types of freight wagons, and it is really, really going to look awesome. On top of that, as you can see, I've got the British uh, sort of setup. If we have a look at the stations I've got, you can see I've even got a turntable. Come on, turntable. Even got a turntable. You can have as many connecting tracks as you want to that. Uh, if we have a look at this, I've got the flexible train stations, if we ever needed them. I might not be going over 240 meters for the purpose of this series. Our tracks are, I mean, our stations are generally 300 meters long, if I remember correctly. I might go 320, but 320 is a bit long. So for, for the most part, probably 240 and 160. And you can see we could do all different eras, station design eras. We can have a flexible track there. We've got the British Rail star ones. You can see that full on, absolute full on um, British train station there. Uh, that type got the orange brick one something you'd get maybe in London advanced stations we've got something we can work on with this uh, you know to give us the pass-through lines whatever we wanted to do and there you go look look at that that looks brilliant just a number of different pass-through lines and yeah all, all sorts of stuff We've got the terminal stations, we've even got underground train stations, there we go. This is something we could use, for example, for Victoria. So we could have uh, eight tracks underground. That's uh, Victoria Station done. Um, that one there. That's the terminal station. We've got station planners, we've got generic stations. We've just got everything. Basically everything I could find, I have stuffed in here. Um, on this side as well as much as I could find uh, just just everything that and that's the idea that's the idea in this series and if you have a look here you can see I've got a bunch of things already in uh, that's going to allow us to do whatever we need to do and the plopable town buildings and all that will be coming in too have a look at this there you go whole bunch of stuff buildings and whatnot as well Look at that. We could have these rail side little shacks. This is something that could be found in Britain. 
This is something that could probably be found in Britain somewhere. This is definitely something you'd find on a farm. Uh, a lean-to on that. That's definitely British. We could use that as houses, station housing. That's British. Put stairs, we'll be able to put stairs up and down everywhere. Animals. This is brilliant. Road stacking over tracks. Um, the reason this is brilliant is because literally I could I could do a number of things that we have in in the UK so we could do that we'd have switches we'll be using these crossover tracks um, oil tanks sure why not goods will be will be decorating places just everything everything that we could possibly find a tree brush um, we've got these town billboards which I might be looking for the British ones because these are German the foresters, traffic lights, fences. Uh, there's this this type of house. I just wanted to have a look at what it's like. Doesn't look bad if we place one or two of them in a, in a few few places. But literally everything we can find, even even a jet petrol station. If we wanted to put a petrol station in near Heathrow Airport, do that. Churches to make it look something. Yeah, to make it look kind of right. Industries, different industries. That's a full-on dam. It's, it's going to look great. It really is. So I hope you lot are excited about this. Oh, look, different types of churches as well. I did not know that. I hope you lot are excited about that. That's not a church. That's a hotel. Um, because I think it's going to look really, really cool. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this series that is coming up. Yep, they're looking good. To enjoy, hopefully, what's going to be a very in-depth series, a very, um, a very interesting series. I think it's going to be a very, very interesting series. I have got, I have got a lot to learn. These things will definitely be featured. I'm looking at some of these things now. Um, in fact, here you go. You can just see some of the. Did that not put the? Oh, it's not putting the trains in yet, I suppose because we haven't unlocked them. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I think I've rattled on uh, for long enough. And there's everything. There's a number of things I've put in that I haven't had a chance to look at yet in, in their entirety. For example, these are, these are some of them. Anyway, whilst I, get, whilst I start looking at them, not long to go before the series starts, possibly one week. So here is the one week warning, make sure you set your schedules, I'll have to decide on the days, probably Tuesdays and Fridays would probably be two good days for this. If I do it three times a week, it will probably be Tuesday, Friday and Sunday for this. Expect lots of time lapse, expect lots of fun and expect as much realism as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for Series 3 of Transport Fever, the Great Western Railway. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think, if you think the plans are pretty good. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. Things like this take a lot of time, so your Patreon support would be paramount right now. Whether you can uh, pledge $1 or $2 or $5 or $10 or $20, it doesn't matter. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really help me out and you will get access to a few little bits and bobs here and there, uh, including on Discord. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. And I think on Instagram, you'll be seeing a few pictures of these as the sort of the town develops. I need to get in touch with a few modders, I think, see if I can get some landmarks for London. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys at the start of Transport Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway.